Oh god, really? As soon as I start, someone comes. Oh, morning. <laughs> morning, guys. Oh, it's so. But, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, We're currently in Asda's. Uh, okay. Oh, I want have a calendar. I want a Maltese if I know this year. You said you're too old. Um, no, you, you like, can't be too old for an Abdon calendar. <laughs> That's a lesson. Is there any like. Okay, I want to get it. Um, just... I'm my dog. Oh, my God, Jessica. Oh, God. Oh, that's something Zoe had last year. I did that right now, though. Zoe had that last year. That's why I always get mine on the first, if I ever get one. I don't. I always get mine on the I first. I get mine on the first end, end of November, so I go over to Sandman. Mmm. Okay. Oh, say hi. I thought that was empty, then. <laughs> Is it empty? No. Say hi. Hello, everyone. We're announced that again. I just said that. Last one fall off. Creating your work of as <laughs> organising the shelves. I need to get some more. What's your favourite chocolate? In the... Look at all this, guys. Do you want me to get you some? No, I get I don't want to yet. That looks There's an advent cat. Three pound for an advent cat. That, That's yeah. ridiculous. You go to freaking Poundland to get a pound to yeah, chocolate does not taste good. Oh, I'm really excited. This is my first year I'm ever doing Vlogmas. What's that? Don't tell me you vlog every single day. Vlog you do doing anyway. Yeah, I know, but you don't vlog on Christmas Day. Why? Oh, yeah, you've got oven. So much to do. Although, I might because I'm coming down yours for Christmas. After, yeah. So, I'm going down mine about 5 o'clock. Yeah, so I might. Let me know, guys. Do you want me to vlog on Christmas Day? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, but do you want me? Do you guys want me to vlog on Christmas Day? If you do, then I might consider it because I know a lot of people don't tend to vlog on Christmas Day. They stop on the twenty. Do I get five pounds? Yeah. I don't get that though. If it's vlogmas, surely that means you vlog Christmas Day. Vlogmas. The mess is missing the Christmas Day. I think. I don't know. Vlogmas. I feel like... like vlog, vlog Christmas. Basically, that's what it is. Yeah, Vlogmas, it's like you miss Christmas Day. It's like half missing. I don't know. Yeah. I just feel like if you're doing Vlogmas, you should do the whole... What are you doing then? No, but what? I don't, I don't know if they want me... Be my guest. <laughs> be a guest. 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 Guys, who else is Miss Craig's voice? Oh, and by the way, I'm dyeing my hair tonight because that is not okay. Have you got hair dye in here? I've got hair dye. Oh, I want you to put some colour. Dark blue. Oh, fuck off. Oh. That's what you look like. That's no. I like a smith. Oh. I think I'm going dark blue. Uh, Jamie told me to go back blonde, but I was like, nah. I look no, like blonde a... is nice on you. I look like you a 12-year-old. Like, you act like a child when you're blonde. Hair. I look like a 12-year-old. You year think old. you're Cinderella in a dress? He always says that. No, but um, come on, it's true. It's not true. At all. No, I feel more me with brown hair, guys. I'm sorry. I, d I don't see myself ever... Someone just stared at me. <laughs> I don't see myself ever going back blonde. I don't know. I was asking you well when you're older. You should have no choice because your hair will just go... Your hair will go perfect great. I'm, so, I'm terrified. To I haven't found my first grey hair yet, guys. Have you? I haven't got one. No, have you found it yet? Then? No, I haven't got one. Oh. I'm so scared. The day I find that, I'm going to freak out. I haven't got one yet. Right your mum's allowed? No, she's totally something. Has your mum got grey hair? Well, she's a I, lot older. I'm, if I go grey, I'm going to just dye my hair. Oh my god, you woke me up so early. You told me to come down? I did go back to five o'clock this morning. What? I, I can't sleep after a night of working. Oh my god, guys. Five o'clock in the morning when I'm in bed and channel up my door half past nine. Yeah, because you said be down before ten. And then I went back to bed and left it downstairs for half <laughs> You didn't. You did. You went back to sleep. <laughs> Well, they said I'm getting dressed. I, I wonder why you I came back down in your dressing gown. Because, guys, I was waiting outside in a taxi. Uh, half hour sleep. Not half hour, it was like 20 minutes. Remember when I texted you saying, oh, I'm getting dressed? I was actually going to sleep. Yeah, when you come down in your dressing gown, I was like, huh? 
I think it's getting dressed. Yeah. Oh. Oh, right, okay then. Bye everyone, I hope you have a nice day and I'm going back to work, okay? I like my movie. Lush, I'm going to say that. I might vlog after. I just, oh my god, right, basically I nearly didn't answer the call. Basically, as you guys know, I hate answering unknown numbers, like I just hate it. I just had a phone call from Cardiff, Wales. It had like a number and then Cardiff, Wales. And I was thinking, who's this then? So I was like really confused. I was like, who is this and why are they calling me? So I was like, wait, it could be something to do with James Arthur to make tickets to tomorrow. And then um, it turns out it was. So it was a good job I answered. Um, yeah, it turned out to be them. And I said, hello. And they said, hi, this is the manager of Capital. And I was like, oh, hi. And he was like, hi. And he said, congratulations on winning the tickets for James Arthur. I was like, thank you so much. I'm really excited. And he said, yeah, I'm just calling you with details for tomorrow with your tickets and everything. And I was like, yeah. And he said, basically, it's too late to post now, obviously. I was like, yeah. And he said, so basically, the tickets are at the box office. Um, so, yeah, they're under my name. So, yeah. I'm so excited. But by the time this goes up, I'll be in the concert, probably. Because... Basically, I don't think I'm going to upload this till the day I, not to, because normally I'd upload this tonight, but, because obviously, yeah, but it's my name at the box office, go and collect them, and then, um, he said just bring a form of identity with you and stuff, and I was like, yeah, sure, no problem, and also I found out, um, where we're sitting, we're not sitting, we're standing. It's a stand in. But it's still okay, I don't mind that sitting. But I'm just really excited. I've had a really nice day today. I've seen Craig. Um, so yeah. Definitely gonna do all the singles. But songs I don't really know, I'm not gonna vlog because there's no point. So, yeah, there are some songs that I'm not gonna know because, yeah. But I'm really excited. And I can't believe I'm actually going to see James Arthur. I'm going to see him tomorrow. Ah! I just want to go to sleep. I want to go to sleep and make it four o'clock so I'm going to Cardiff. But yeah, I'm going to go and have a shower and dye this smuck. So I look slightly presentable. Okay, so first of all, I want to apologise for this weird lighting. I've got like little fairy lights. But you can't really see them that well, but whatever. Um, basically, um, i got to try and say this without being emotional. Basically, myself and Craig um, are about to do a cover. One for his channel, one for my channel. And it's a song called Father by Demi Lovato. And basically, as I'm like rehearsing it, like I'm just trying to learn the words because Craig knows it more than me. Um, but as I'm singing it, it's like making me really emotional because obviously the words in it mean a lot to me. Like the words in it, as I'm singing it, it's making me emotional and it's making me emotional now. now. Um, basically, if you're wondering why, I don't think I've ever explained this to you guys. Basically, I grew up um, basically not knowing who my dad was. Um, there was a lot of... I'm going very deep, this is very personal to me, so... Basically, um, my dad used to be incredibly abusive to my mother. And, um, yeah, I always grew up, think, um, like, knowing that. Like, they never, ever didn't... Uh, my auntie and my nan or my mum never, ever not told me anything else. Like, they were always very honest with me about who he was. They always told me, oh, yeah, you've got a dad, but he didn't want to be in your life, like... And stuff like that and I was like okay whatever but I also got bullied for it quite a bit because like everyone was saying to me oh um so you don't have a dad then and it got to a point where in school like at parents evening my mum and my auntie would always be there and at one point they actually thought my mum was a lesbian with my auntie um 
and I was I was just like, no, this is my auntie. And he was like, oh, I'm sorry. He was like, oh, where's your dad? And I was like, he's not in my life. And he was like, oh, I'm so sorry about that. Um, but it's lovely to see you've got some more support. And I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. But, um, yeah, that's what they would always say. They'd be like, um, like, some people knew about it, but, like, not a lot of people knew. And then back... Last year at the start, I got an. I was trying to find him. I was trying to find him to like see what he was like because I'm obviously a lot older now, and I wanted to know what he was like for myself, like see my own opinion of him. And um, I kind of give up because I couldn't find him myself. Like I just couldn't. And then it ends. <laughs> and then it ended up that one night when I was downstairs back at my auntie's house. About to go to bed, knock on the door from the police saying your dad's in a critical condition in, in hospital. So obviously I went to see him and I met him for the first time. He was exactly what I looked like on pictures and stuff. And I went through that whole journey with him from thinking he wasn't going to survive and I wasn't going to get to know him or anything like that. And I was partly blaming myself because I was like, why didn't I search for him more? Why didn't I search him before or anything like that? And, um, yeah, basically, that's what happened. Like, we were going, um, obviously, he was talking crap and stuff, but, um, we literally thought he wasn't going to survive. We were, like, we got pulled into the, like, family care, like, the room, and we got told that, um, it's a very short chance that he'd live. And I was blaming myself a lot because I was just, like, if only I'd have seen him sooner, then... I don't know, I just... At that time, we were a bit too emotional to think about anything apart from what could I have done better. Like, if I'd have found him sooner, maybe wouldn't I could have stopped him doing this and stuff. Anyways, time went by. He obviously survived. He's still alive today. And, um, yeah, he got really good. He got better. He's currently out of hospital now. He has been for ages. And, um, yeah, so... I went up there every day for three months to see him. Spent all day up there, um, stuff like that. And then one day for three weeks I couldn't go up there because obviously we're moving into this house and stuff. And um, I f my mum fell ill with um, stomach troubles and we got a new puppy so we had to settle Jess in. And he didn't like the fact that I didn't go up to see him. And I, my auntie Susanna went up to see him and she said, oh, um, Shannon's coming up today. And he said, tell her if she doesn't bother coming up today, not to bother seeing me ever again. And I was just like really confused. I was like, what the hell? Why is he saying this? And then, um... Basically, sorry, my oh, I've put a candle wax on it, smells lush. And, um, yeah, I got really confused and stuff. And then I rang him and I was like, because I had his phone number. And then when he got out of hospital, I didn't see him after that. Um, so I rang him and I was like, what's going on? Why don't you want to see me? He was like, if you can't be bothered to come and see me in the last three weeks of hospital, I don't want to see you anymore. And he basically... Um, he hung up and I said, how dare you say this to me? I've been in, like coming up for weeks. And he said, you know what? Forget it. You're out of my life. I don't want nothing to do with you. And hung up. It's why I'm just getting emotional because like... The yeah, this cover me and Craig are about to do, obviously, like I explained to you guys, the words in it are going to make me... I feel like when I'm going to sing it, I'm going to end up crying. Like, I don't know why, I just feel like I will. So yeah, that's basically why I feel like I'm going to get emotional, because obviously the words in this is like, apologising. He didn't get a chance and stuff, so. I don't know, I just feel like I'm going to be very emotional when I'm singing this. And Craig was like, oh, you can relate to the song. Ow! So much. And I was just like, yeah, I can. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with this. Um, so yeah, I'm going to rehearse it a little bit now and I'll speak to you guys later.